Here are two ways to help speed up your Samsung Galaxy. This is the S21 Fan Edition, the FE 5G, but you can do this with any of the modern Samsung Galaxies. All right, let's learn. All right, the first thing to do is regular maintenance. It's already built into your phone. You go to Settings. All right, you can go to Settings, and then we want to go on something called Device Care, which is you know, most of the way down. Hit on device care. And all you have to do, the built-in software allows you to optimize your phone. And let's read together what it does for us. It checks battery usage, apps, background apps, have no storage issues, uh, no apps with too much memory, no apps sending excessive alerts. And that just do this on a regular basis. And depending on how much you use your phone, maybe you do it once a day, maybe two times a day. At least do it once a week to help your phone run quicker and you'll actually save some battery. All right, let's move on to the next one. Before we move on, let's let's do two more things inside of Device Care. There are two cool things that you can do to help you. So we're gonna touch storage real quick. And what you can do is review what you have. There's trash, unused apps, duplicate files, and large files. And you can remove all of these things Again, to give your phone a little space, and if your phone is too bogged down, too much memory is being used, it can actually slow your phone down. In this example, let's go to our trash, and let's see, let's see, we've been taking pictures, a lot of pictures of phones, and all we have to do is remove it by touching edit, and then empty, and it'll remove the videos and pictures that we've taken recently that we don't need anymore. All right, and then the next thing we can do is also as easy, let's go back to device care, and you can hit your memory, and it will actually close some apps that are, used. like I don't need my contacts open right now. I don't need a Verizon app open, so I'm going to clean up 456 megabytes of memory for myself. All right, now we can move on to the next thing. All right, I used to think it was cool to go into your software settings. You go into settings, about phone, and then software. And then there's a cool thing that you can go inside of build number. If you touch build number, it opens something called developer options. Here, let me show you. Developer options open now if you go to back to your settings, and then you scroll one more down, there's now a hidden menu called developer options. And you could do some cool things inside of here to make your phone run faster. But what I discovered is that there's a simpler way to do that. We just go into our settings and we can go to accessibility. Let's go find accessibility. And then you can go to vision enhancements. And already built in is the thing that we do. Reduce animations, which I'll show you an example. I'll, I'll compare this S22 to this 21. And then we can reduce transparency and blur. So it just it's going to save a little bit of processing speed, battery, and you're going to see how much quicker your phone looks and operates. Watch this. Okay, now I've, I've done the enhancements here where I've reduced, I've turned off the animations, and this, the 22 still has it. So watch this. Watch the difference in how the phones look by just bringing up the dialer. Closing the dialer. Do it again so you can see. Blinks on, blinks off. And this one grows out of its animation and then closes back down into its animation. Watch again. And it's with every single app. So if we want to bring up like Messenger's Messenger, blinks on, takes a moment to open. Blinks off immediately, takes a moment to go back down. So if you're someone who you use your phone a lot, you're switching back and forth between all these different uh, apps, your phone is going to feel snappier, quicker, faster just by doing those those few adjustments on your phone. So, hey, if you like how that works on your phone, please leave in the comment. I like how that works on my phone now. It is faster. And if this has helped you, please subscribe.